Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for stopping by. Well, today I get to share with you a Christmas card and we're using new products to the Spellbinder shop. Now, this is the Holiday 2019 collection by Sharon Soul. And this one is a glimmer plate and it's called the Christmas Merry Christmas Tree. It has the Merry Christmas glimmer plate along with one beautiful tree. It's a pretty good size one too. And this set here is not a glimmer plate, it's just a die set, and um, it's called the Winter Friends die set, and it has six pieces, um, a little deer, you have the two little bunnies, and then a little bird or a cardinal, and they're all silhouettes. And I thought it'd be fun to combine both of these together to create a card um, with the Glimmer Hot Foil system. Since we have glimmer plates and silhouettes, I think it would work out really good. And today, um, I wanted to use my foils. I wanted to show you, if you don't have um, foils on hand, this is a nice, quick way to create a background with foils. So what I'm going to do is start off by taking a piece of white card stock, put it on my glimmer machine, which is already warmed up. I'm going to place the foil face up. I'm kind of opposite of what you usually do with a glimmer plate, so it's face up. And then I'm going to build a paper shim as thick as a regular glimmer plate. So you're going to add quite a few pieces of cardstock. I'm going to add a, a couple more just to be on the safe side. And then I'll add my, my plastic shim and then my top plate. And then I'm pushing the timer. I don't know if you need to do that or not, um, but I, just, I did just in case. <laughs> So we're going to run this through the Platinum 6, and I'm going to go forward and back a few times, and um, I want to show you the result. Now this is not perfection, guys. Um, there are um, quite a few imperfections on this spoiled cardstock that's handmade, um, but I think if you were needing a gold star or you wanted to die cut out some gold star and don't have any um, gold cardstock, this is a great way. You can see that there's a few little scratches in areas on here, um, but I think I can work around it. So I die cut out my little girl in a bunny with the gold hair, you can see. So I think it works out great. Um, we're gonna do the same thing this time, we're gonna use red cardstock. So I'm taking my white cardstock, putting it directly on my glimmer base here. I'm gonna trim down a piece of red foil and put it face up and then build up my shim, my paper shim, pretty thick. And then I'm gonna add my, my plates. And I press that timer button. And then we have a little extra. If you wanna make some stars, you have extra foil. And there's so many colors of glimmer foil that it's super neat to have on hand. Okay, so I ran this through um, my die cutting machine. And this little piece here kind of stuck to the, the top of my glimmer base, but no worries, it came off beautifully. It didn't stay there, but you can see all the scratches in here. And now I don't know if it was my foil or if it was the cardstock or if it was my shims that caused that to do that, but um, I'm going to use the red for cardinals, which I die cut out there, you could see. So I kind of went around my little scratches. <laughs> Okay, now I'm using my Merry Christmas Glimmer Plate kind of as a guide, making sure it'll fit on this panel. And then um, I'm gonna, this is printer paper that I'm working on actually. Um, I have a piece of cardstock that's the same exact size, but I put my Glimmer Plate face up on here and I centered it. I'm gonna add some green foil and then I'm gonna add a small piece of red foil for my cardinal on the very top. This is gonna be um, a uh, background, so I wanna make sure it was centered. I'll add my cardstock, and when the light stop flashing, it's ready to run through. We'll just put this back in the docking station, and then we will check out the result. Now this one kinda got overfoiled. I guess I went uh, paper shim happy and added too many shims, but no worries, because um, it erased beautifully, and um, except for the bottom. I wasn't too worried about the bottom and it was where the uh, heavy excess foiling was, but I'm gonna cover that with a snowbank, so I'm not worried about that. I am worried about the top of my tree being red. I didn't like that. <laughs> so I added a piece of green foil face down and then I'm gonna recenter my cardstock on that printer paper so I know it's aligned perfectly. And then I'll add one paper shim this time. 
and then or actually I added two <laughs> and then my top plates and then we'll run this through and it foiled beautifully so I don't have a red tree top just a red cardinal <laughs> lovely now it looks kind of like a hot mess right now but bear with me it's going to turn into a beautiful card that's the best thing about foiling okay I'm going to take my tree away and now we are going to foil our sentiment so I have a piece of printer paper. I'm going to put Merry Christmas on here and I'm going to put them face up. I'm going to flip them around here. And then for my sentiment, I wanted it to be red. I want to be using red foil. We're going to trim down a thin strip here. I'm going to add my cardstock on top and then we'll add a couple paper shims and then our plastic shim plate and then our top plate. And then while that is a heating up. I'm going to use my sand eraser and erase all my um, overfoiling here. Um, the cardinal erased beautifully. Um, and I'm again, I'm not worried about that bottom area. I am going to remove some of the green that's on the left and the right only because I'm going to cover the bottom area with my snowbank and I didn't want the green to show. Um, I did have a little bit of a problem with that green up here where I'm erasing now. Um, you could see a little bit left over, but it, I don't think it was noticeable. Maybe you could see it in the close-ups, um, but I don't think it was noticeable. I think it still created a beautiful card. Okay, I'm just finishing up and then my lights stop flashing. We're going to run this through the die cut machine and we have a beautiful Merry Christmas in red foil. So pretty. Okay, I have a little bit of excess foiling, so I'm going to use my eraser to clean that up. And then I'm going to make room on my desk and we're going to create, put everything all together. Um, I'm going to use my scissors and create a snowbank. Originally, I wanted it domed shape, but the trunk of the tree, um, it just didn't look right. And I wanted to leave a little bit of a border around my panel here because I'm going to be using a red card base, which is a standard A2 size card base. And I wanted that red to show because of the red foil. So we're going to go ahead and adhere our panel directly to our card base in the center. And then I'm going to trim a little bit off the bottom. And then also using my scissors, I'm going to create a little dip right where the tree trunk is. And I think this is going to work out perfectly. So we'll flip this over, add some foam tape behind our snowbank add a little dimension on the card and then I'm going to go ahead and pop up my little girl and my bunny with foam adhesive and a couple of the cardinals will add a foam adhesive behind and add them to the tree and then this very last one I'm just going to glue um, there's a green cardinal on the tree underneath this little girl's hand so I'm just going to glue it straight to the card I think that looks so pretty okay all using foil I just thought it was so nice for finishing touches, I want to add some little sparkle with some gold stickles. And that finishes off my project today, guys. If you're interested in anything you see, again, links will be down below. But um, foiling is super fun. And if you're looking for a pretty Christmas card idea using the Glimmer Hot Foil system, um, I think these are a great set. Have a great day. We will see you again real soon, guys. Bye-bye.